Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for take after using and creating the video for the our canvas for just two days we got the new official update for the evolution x rom so i decided to give you all the new evolution x official build details what's new and what's fixed in the build as i am creating the videos for the all the android 12 base roms for the one plus 6 and 60 with their updates please check which update you want to install Using the thumbnail, there I clearly mentioned the date-wise updates. But that was the beta build. Now Devs has released the official release of the ROM as it is pretty much stable now. So to install, we need to download the Evolution X ROM zip file and the finalized zip. Now go to the security setting and remove all the pins and the password. Now power off your device and long press the volume down plus power button to boot device into the TWRP. If you are coming from the other ROM, you need to do the full format. So keep the TWRP in Android and the full backup of the phone. So all things are done here. So let's get started for the installation and the review of the ROM. After booting to the TWRP, tap install and select the evolution exit file. Slide the bottom slider to install. Once the installation gets complete, again tap install and select the final zip. Once the both installation gets complete, now tap the advanced, select the install current TWRP and then tap reboot and select the recovery. When it boots back to the TWRP, tap wipe and select the format data, type yes. If you get the error in a formatting, then select the RMRF option inside the TWRP setting and then try to wipe. After successful format, tap reboot to the system. So we booted with the awesome boot animation of Evolution X ROM. So let's go to the about device here I want to tell you that all the things are the same here like old beta update released by the team like it is the same android 12.1 L version. I really like the new easter egg of the ROM which looks cool and gives the separate identity to the ROM. This is the evolution 6.2 build. This build comes with the latest security patch of March 2022. Google Play security is of January 2022. ROM has same old kernel 4.9.227. Build maintainer and the awesome lead developer of the team is Anarin Bliss, doing great job for the OnePlus 6 and 60. Say Linux of the ROM is the permissive and this is the latest build of 19 March 2022. So let's see what's new has been added in the build. All the things are same here but the new tab has been added in the evolver section of the setting. It's a theme tab for the full customization of theming of the ROM. In this we get the new pure black theme. If we enable this, system UI gets restarts to apply the theme. This theme will get applied in the whole system wide apps all will get the pure black theme. It's specially useful for the AMOLED display to save the battery. But to use this first we need to enable the dark theme option available below it. Instead of this, we also get the separate tab for the headline and the body fonts. All the setting has the new theme which looks cool. We get the bunch of the choices to choose within the variety of the fonts like the Google Sans, OnePlus Sans, etc. Second tab is for the icon pack for the system icons. Here we also get the bunch of the amazing icons and they can be applicable on the go mode. Means no need to reboot or the restart the system UI. Next to that we get the signal icons for the status bar which makes your status bar looks from the aliens world because it has so many old and the new signal icon settings. Similar way we get the bunch of the Wi-Fi icon styles, sometimes the pixel launcher forecloses, just ignore it. Last one is the icon shape setting, here we get so many icons. I especially like the cloudy, drop and the hexagon style icons, which makes me remember the Sanajun theme available for the OnePlus One in 2015. Instead of these all customizations are same as the old video, you can check that video from the right side card where I discuss all the things in the details. Instead of these customizations, now in the quick setting panel, we get the Evolver tab which redirects us to Evolver's customizations of the Evolution X ROM. We also get the separate Wi-Fi settings tab also. We get the bunch of the tile to quickly access the high brightness mode, volume panels, device extras and the many more settings. So let's check the performance of this new update as generally ROM working very smooth and no lag whatsoever. When I took the Geekbench test, I got the similar result like the old build. For the single core, I got the 495 and for the multi core, I got the 2043. Now we'll check the safety net. Still in this build, I got the safety net check failed. 
the main issue it's failing because the rom is in a permissive mode but we can use the magic route and use the magic site to solve this issue screenshot edit force close issue has been fixed in this build last time i didn't mention that in a beta build video but it's there and now it's fixed notification led light setting is now working under the notification settings we can use the per app led notifications along with the battery low charging full charge indicators all seems working fine if you face any bugs please mention in the comment section rom comes with the inbuilt system updater which seems working showing the latest update and its change log actually i don't recommend you to use this to update your rom always use the twrp method oxygen os camera is still showing me the force close issue when i took the pictures though i wiped the data for the camera application instead of this app you can use the google camera all is working in that Volume slider quick setting for the notification ringer sounds are not tappable like the old build still it's not fixed USB OTG is still not working i tried to connect the pen drive but still not detecting the external storage another bug i found which was also a face in the old build that is we can't able to enable the okay google or the hey google tab though it seems enabled when we leave the setting it's get disabled again so we can't able to use the okay google Even the Google Assistant will not wake up sometimes when you use the swipe gestures from the phone corners. You can solve that by using the Magix module video available in a right side card. So that is all about the new update. Most of the beta build bugs are still present in this build, but especially the main bug of mic issue that the most of the people facing while calling. I didn't face that while calling the people, so it's solved now. As this is the official ROM, we get the regular updates. till the date we have only two official roms one is the cyberia and the another one is evolution x which has the good development support so the next update will clear all these bugs but they are not deal breaking so you can use this build as the daily driver so if you think i help you please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye